Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Red Dead Online and I'm doing another clothing and weapons guide. Today we're doing Doc Holiday from the movie Tombstone. And so this is actually going to be three outfits. So it's going to be super exciting, but to avoid keeping it too long, we're just going to dive right on in and get through it. So we'll start off with weapons. So first of all, we're going to start off with just two Cattleman revolvers because he uses two Colt single action army revolvers. Both of these we're going to design exactly the same. Now it's not going to be perfect because one of the ones he uses is slightly smaller than the other one in the movie and it actually has a rounded grip. This is very common for an offhand weapon as it was nice and easy to conceal under a jacket. We can't, we don't have that option in the game so we're going to design them basically like this, kind of looking like a uh, peacemaker really. So we're going to give him a total silver coat over the whole thing, engrave it and either put silver or nickel engraving in it just to give it that little bit of a third dimensional accent. Then we're going to keep the short barrel on it, improved sights, uh, improved rifling. We're going to put pearl grips on it with a nice eagle carved into the grip, giving it a really, really nice uh, gunslinger gun look to it, I think at least. I think it looks really nice. And uh, like I said, we're going to keep the short barrel on it because Doc in the movies uses relatively short barreled single action revolvers. So this is the revolvers. And like I said, you're going to want two of these. So let's see the other weapon. So for the shotgun, it's going to be a double-barreled shotgun, and this is going to be what uh, Kurt Russell in the movie jokingly refers to as a street howitzer, which is an interesting term for a movie set in the late 1800s. But we're going to go with a pretty standard-looking uh, varnish for the stock, and then we're going to do black for the barrel, and black for the trigger guard, brown steel for the trigger, hammer, and the frame, and then uh, high-visibility iron for the sights. And that's going to be pretty accurate to the shotgun that uh, Doc Holliday used in the gunfight at the OK Corral scene in Tombstone. So uh, those are the weapons. Like I said, two silver with white grips, cattleman revolvers, and one double-barreled shotgun. So that's the weapons we need for Doc. So let's go look at the outfits. Okay, and so the first of his three outfits that we're going to be looking at is, is what I like to call the full outfit. This is going to be what he's first introduced uh, wearing in Tombstone. And this is what he will wear in much of the promotional art. And throughout most of the movie, this is his outfit. I would say most of the time that he appears on screen, it, uh, on screen is wearing this outfit. So we'll just go through it piece by piece. So the hat I went with is the black Wallingford hat. And now this is uh, not absolutely perfect, but it's pretty close to the shape and style of the hat that he wears in the movie. Obviously, there wouldn't be the brown bander on top. And the hat is maybe a little bit more turned up than it needs to be. But I think this works the best for getting the appearance of how his hat kind of sits on his head in the movie. Like I said, not perfect, but that's the hat we're going to be using for all three of these outfits. So that's the hat. For the necktie, we go with a nice red ascot tie because it's basically identical to the tie he wears in the movie, so you can't really beat that. For the coat, there's a lot of options that I guess would work, but the best one I could find is this black worsted coat. In the movie, I have never ever seen him wearing any sort of a tail or frock coat. So a lot of the guides that you'll see people trying to make for, or a lot of the outfits a lot of people will put together for Doc Holliday seem to use some sort of a frock coat or a tail coat, and he does not wear that. So I don't know why people would choose that. Uh, it's a standard, uh, it looks almost exactly like this worsted coat actually. So this is the one I go with. Like I said, there's a few options, but this one's the best one. Now for the vest, we go with the gray paisley vest because it looks... Very, very similar to the one he wears in the movie. I actually like how it looks quite a bit. For the shirt, I'm just going to stick with the white French dress shirt because it looks almost exactly like the one he wears, and it's a nice standard option, so that's the shirt. For the suspenders, I went with the black and gray cotton suspenders. Uh, they look almost exactly like the suspenders you'll see Doc wearing in the movie, and I think they look really nice on the outfit, so that's the suspenders we're going to be going with. So we didn't add a belt buckle, and I did go with the Levens gun belt, the black and gray variant. Now, obviously, this doesn't look like the one he wears in the movie. That's because the one he wears in the movie is a much, it sits much higher, and a second air gun is actually one that would be an under-the-arm uh, holster. So nothing you can put together in the game is going to match exactly what it looks like, but I kind of went with one that I kind of feel goes for him. He's, he's a bit of a showman with the way that he presents himself, and he's uh, obviously quite a bit of a quick-draw, sharpshooter kind of guy. So that's why I went with this. It's... Uh, a little bit more ornate, but it does stick with the black and silver theme, which looks really good with the outfit. So I went with both the for the Levens gun belt and the Levens offhand holster, black and gray. I think it looks really nice, and that's the uh, weapon equipment we'll be using throughout the video. For the pants, I went with the black, black tuxedo pants. No reason to go with anything more complex than that. They look really nice, real clean, and they match the ones that he wears in the movie very, very well. For the boots, I went with the plain black Austin boots. I think they look really nice. They have a little bit of a decoration on them, but nothing too over the top and flashy, and uh, they look a lot like the black footwear that Doc wears in the movie. So that's where we got the boots, and of course wear them under the pants because he does not wear his 
boots Texas style. For spurs, I decided to go a little bit fancy with it, again for the same reason as the gun belt, and I like how these ones look with the outfit, I went with the black moray spurs. So these look real nice, and I think overall the full outfit comes together quite nicely. So that is the full doc outfit, so now let's go to the next one. So this is what I like to call the half doc outfit. This is going to be the one introduced in this scene. Don't any of you have the guts to play for blood? I'm your huckleberry. That's just my game. And so, as we uh, can tell, this one is going to be the one that I think most people recognize the best when it comes to Doc Holliday, and it's personally my favorite one to wear in the game. So this one is going to have a lot of similarities. The pants, the uh, weapon equipment, the hat, the shirt, the boots, and the spurs are going to be all the same. The only thing that's going to change for this one is we're going to take the coat off, and then we're going to change the tie and the vest. So for the tie, we're going to go from the red tie to this gold tie, because that's the way that he goes in the movie. And then for the vest, we're going to go for this red and gold paisley vest. And now this is going to match pretty dang close to exactly what it looks like in the movie. And so, like I said, hat stays the same. We still have the white French dress shirt, still the Levens gun belt and offhand holster, still the black tuxedo pants, and the boots and the spurs remain the same. So that is the half outfit. So if you want to look like him in the scene where he's got two guns, one for each of you. That one is going to be this. So let's move on to the final variant of the Doc Holiday outfit. So this is the one that I like to call the Doc Holiday sit. So this is the one where he's... At, uh, where he shows up real sick to the gunfight at the OK Corral. So this will be the one where you get to use the uh, street howitzer, the double-barreled shotgun. So for this one, it's going to change a little bit. Hat's going to stay the same. We're not going to be wearing any neckwear. For the coat, we're going to go with the black Walden coat because it looks very similar in both style and length to the coat that he wears in the, in the movie. I went through all the different dusters, and this one, I think, fits it the best. So that's the coat that we're going to go with for, the, for this variant of the outfit. For the shirt, I went with this uh, kind of dirty, grayish, off-white, looking everyday overshirt because it's pretty similar in looks to the one he wears in the movie. Now the one in the movie he has actually is a, is a striped shirt but I couldn't find one that had the right colors of the striped shirts in the game so I just went with this one because it has the right color. And then we pop that collar open to give him slightly more of a I'm not feeling so good I'm in a really hot place kind of a, a vibe to it. So that's the shirt. Again I'll show you those suspenders because we haven't seen them under the vests for most of the time. We have the black and gray striped cotton suspenders on this one because you can actually see them in the movie at this point. So that's the suspenders. And then like I said, for the rest of it, the gun belt and the offhand holster are going to stay the same. We're going to keep those black tuxedo pants on. We're going to keep those more spurs on and we're going to keep the same boots on. So that is what I like to call the sick Doc Holiday outfit. So there we have it again. There's the Doc Holiday half outfit. That's what it looks like. The Doc Holiday full outfit and the Doc Holiday sick outfit. So I hope this guide helped you uh, dress up as Doc Holiday, everyone's favorite tuberculosis ridden retired doctor gunslinger from the Old West. And I hope this guide was fun, you know. So if you have any recommendations, anything else you'd like to see me recreate in, in this game, whether it's from history or from a movie, TV show, or a video game, this video game, for example, let me know down in the comment section. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.